see the new faction. Uh, I have seen some stuff around it. I haven't played it, played it. I haven't played a multiplayer game. So I'm gonna get in. We'll try to figure out what's what and then hopefully play a match or two. So let's see it. Let's see what's going on. So from what I know, it's a lot more unique faction compared to Infernals and, um, in, and Vanguard. And the reason for that is it works completely differently. So first things first, this is your um, gold mine collection array and it gathers resources like every, you know, it takes like you can see. But you can also make prisms. So if you make a prism, it's basically like a, you know, worker that, that's like four normal workers. Look at it that way. Uh, I'm not sure about exact percentages and all that, but it costs 150 uh, luminite. I uh, almost said minerals. Uh, luminite and normal work across 50. So it also trains quite a long time. And this is your main base, which is arc ship, right? So you can send the uh, worker, the prism, to mine, right? And the way it mines is it just goes onto the thing. It latches on kind of thing. And now you can have a maximum of three, I think. And now you're ticking for 13 a second, not 10 anymore. So you're getting 13. So I'll just make two more. Just for the sake of it. This unit greatly accelerates over time when it's moving up to 300 base speed. Okay, so if you have to move them to another location, um, I guess they just move really fast. And obviously you still lose the Illuminite on the, on the gold mine. Or the Luminate mine. So there's another one. So now it should be ticking for 16. And I don't know if the last one ticks for 20 or 19. 19 makes sense, but maybe it's like a 3.3 increase. I don't know. Now, so this is your main base. This is your worker that you can build stuff with and this thing you see is if you played like a zerg or protoss it's basically like a mechanic like creep or pylons where you can only build buildings in the range of either your uh, uh, collection array right here or it's uh in the range of your uh, arc ship yeah it's taking for 20 so it is 3.3 increase so another thing is you can remove the collection array when it's done and you can just send it to, to another base and deploy it there. So you don't have to constantly rebuild new bases. But you cannot mine without it, right? Boom. So now we go again. It's going to take for 20 a second. So you need three workers, which is 450. So one thing about this is that, I, that I've noticed is if you build three of these, that's uh, a 450 Luminite. But if you just send your worker right here on the start without building the workers if you just send it here the morph core you can just build collection array which is going to tick for 10 a second and it costs 380 so you can expand like almost immediately and you'll basically get same income as if you, if you were to make three workers but it's 100 100 cheaper obviously you expand so you you know you spread your base out but that's kind of how it works and now you get 10 per second there or per a second and a half i don't know so if we want to build another worker we can do that in the uh in the arc ship and the arc ship can also be landed um increasing becomes immobile increasing its vision range and allowing it to attack it. okay let's see oh i'm probably i can't because i'm building so it has no attack now but it will have an attack when i land it right so if I landed here, so you can do creep camps with this, which is kind of wild. That's very strong, I will say that. Why are they going for my unit? Stop, 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 stop. Okay. Build fabricator. Oh, a fabricator is for um, Our outpost is being assaulted. For Ethereum gathering. I think you just build it here. Let's see how it works. I'm gonna go build it there. Lift off. So one thing you can do with uh, Celestials. I think this is just a building for drop off. And their buildings build really fast, by the way. And another thing is the capture points like Hell Tower and stuff. Now you need to actually get a unit there to capture it. You, you don't longer just kill a camp and you get it. You have to capture it. So, 
one thing is, uh, in order to build extra uh, bases or to build the um, fabricator, which is the uh, Ethereum, uh, Ethereum mine, um, you actually don't need workers to build other stuff. So if you want to build another arc ship, I think you can just plop it in the range of this one or in the range of these. Let's build um, Bastion. So if I plop it here... Oh yeah, another thing is uh, Celestials have energy based um, thing. So they have maximum supply of 300. So they don't need to build like supply houses or anything like that. But they have to build energy so they can continue working. Your building's kind of shut down. Like in, uh, like in Command and Conquer Red Alert games, you know, when you don't have power. Stuff doesn't work. And we can build a power bank right here. Boom. So you don't need workers for those. You only need workers to build collection array or uh, build a fabricator for, for one of these. And when they also gather on the Ethereum, they also gather way faster than normal workers because they're more expensive. But you also get a worker with this, so there's that. Okay, power restored, okay. What I wanted to see is if I make a building here, I want to move away to see if this needs to have power bank next to it. Transfers energy to a target unit or friendly structure. So if I build it here, and I move away, is it still going to work? Now, um, there's obviously all different types of units. There's a scouting unit, there's a melee base unit. You can build a bunch of different stuff about it. Mecha production, we'll make that too. Link node, structure that greatly expands the cascade field. Okay, so if I make one of these here, I guess it's so that you don't need the arc ship there to build. Um, one more thing is um, if you have 10 bastions, which are basically barracks, you don't produce out of all of them. You just increase the production speed and the units, or not production speed, sorry. You produce out of all of them, but you can pick which one is the main one. So I can pick that this one is the main one. So this one is designated now. So when a unit finishes here, it's not going to come out of here. It's going to come out of this one. So it's kind of like... Um, this is from Red Alert, right? Command and Conquer Red Alert. It was the same thing. The more factories you have, you wouldn't produce out of every single one. It would increase the production speed. But here, they do produce here, but they will come out on this side. So that's kind of how it works. And, uh, okay, once the buildings are down, you don't need to have any power nearby. Oh, the buildings also give the power themselves, so now you can keep producing. So you can kind of run this arc ship all the way around and just plant buildings and give power that way, as long as you have enough power banks to uh, supply them. Force projector. Uh, upgrade structure for... Oh, this is just an upgrade building. Okay. Enemies beware. And these are the main units, or the basic units. Oh my god, they do a lot of damage. So how do they work? Air and ground? Do they use... Okay, so they use energy to shoot. Ah, okay. So, the power banks give the energy back to the units so when you shoot it shoots for 20 damage a hit yeah it shoots for 20 ish i'm not sure how much exactly but i think when energy runs out it uses the different weapon yeah and now it's hitting for less so as long as you have energy to use it shoots the the energy ones which are more damage and i think it costs 10 per oh it's here Charge the weapon dealing 100% bonus damage, yeah. So you hit for 10, but if you have the energy, you hit for 20. And it, you get charged up here. Okay, that's pretty cool. If I upgrade my main base... Okay, it cannot move anymore. I need to wait for it to finish. Oh, these are flying, boys. Flying Biosynth. In the center, become Detector and attack or pressure cell that trick the scout for enemy movements. Okay. How does this work? I fight to win. This is like the, the Night Elf Wisps. Seize the initiative. Oh. I'm assuming the attack of this unit is not very high. Just behind. 
Wait, grant this unit allowing to attack, move fast, cast tag, and cast the tech. If this unit is in flight mode, it cannot transform back. Should be the opposite, no? If it's in ground mode, it cannot transfer back. Oh, they give like no vision on, on their own like this. Okay, and they're stealthed now, so the unit needs a stealthy deck, I guess, to get them. That's, uh, that's really strong. Because uh, it's basically like like stealth observers, right, from Protoss. But they can also probably transform to ground, but I don't think they do a lot of damage. They do like 5, right? Yeah, 5 damage ain't a lot. They kind of move pretty slow. But they are detectors now, so there's that. We got these. Uh, let's see what else we got. We got Haven. I gotta make sure I don't get power block. Energy block? the proper term vectors i've seen these and these ones are wild let's build this too mainframe okay mainframe can create kree i'm assuming if you don't create the the base frame the first building is the base frame so these guys are called vectors, and they can uh, teleport to a nearby target location, turning into a temporal form. While temporal, the vector will take 50% bonus damage from attacks and has the ability to recall. So if you go like this... How long does this last? You can recall back. If you take more damage. This is like really good for harassment i'm gonna make a i'm gonna go a game where i just mask these and i just blink everywhere okay we'll make a couple of these make a couple of these uh this one i'm assuming uh just based on the looks it does not have a building uh looks yet to it i'll make two of those oh shite i forgot to uh oh, whatever I want to show you guys this. The Kree rollout. So there's some other buildings that also provide energy. Right? Or am I crazy? The Guardian Nexus. Repairs a target-friendly mechanical unit. Okay, this is a repair. It doesn't give energy. So once you get the upgrade for Krees... They roll around. What else do these guys have? When this unit takes fatal damage, it will become invulnerable for 3 seconds, then explode, dealing 40 damage to ground enemies. That's pretty good. Oh, I like these. Look at that. Dude, I like these. So you can see now you're capturing this. You're not anymore like taking it or that's it. You gotta capture it and recapture it. Reduces damage done to this unit with zero for three seconds. Okay. This weapon deals more damage the closer it is to target. Oh, that's interesting. Alright. We got sabers. These are just long range like high damage units that you're supposed to i'm assuming blast the enemy high hp units or armored units or whatever can increase the moving speed all right and we got the last two units reduces the damage attack speed and moving speed of a target unit by 50 percent Okay, you can't cast it on friendly units. And also it doesn't have a look to it. But these are the caster units. Which we're not gonna look into much today, because I'm not gonna remember to use these. Drains 30 health and 30 energy per second from a target en enemy unit. 25% of drained vitals are redistributed as health to nearby uh to friendly units near the enemy answer. That's pretty strong. That's really strong. Look at that. Everything is getting juiced up. This unit is very strong already. 
Oh, these guys. Oh, he exploded. Stealth nearby units increases their movement speed. I like those. Um, oh, yeah. And the last thing we have this is what every faction has. Uh, but obviously, this is unique to Celestials. So, targets one of your own structures, powers it on as if it's. Powers it on if it is Doorman. Powers it off if it's active. Ah, okay. So if you are like energy block, what is it called? Is it energy? Power. So if you're power blocked, you can disable a building or you can make one basically turn it on as, it, as if it's powered. Uh, and use a target friendly ground structure with the ability to attack nearby enemies. Wait, that's wild. That's the overcharge. This weapon cannot attack structures and increases in power as it fires. Okay, that's very strong. That's a cannon rush right there. Reveals a large area for two seconds and then a smaller area for eight. Okay, so let's see. Okay, little scan. Evolution Catalyst targets a creep camp. If it's active, kill all the creeps with short delay. Oh, this thing can capture. Oh, that's pretty strong. If it's respawning, ends the respawn period and levels up the camp immediately. Summons a beam of light. At the target location for 10 seconds, we restore 5 energy per second. Okay, so all the units that have energy based attacks. Seize the initiative. Which, if you select all of them, a lot of the units have it. Except the Kree, pretty much every unit has energy based attacks. So you can restore it with this. So that's pretty much, I think, everything there is. There is also some unique upgrades that I'm not going to bother too much with because I'm, I'm not going to remember. But I think that's pretty cool. And also you have the link nodes. Oh, the link nodes, which you increase the range of the um, the influence thing. You can also upgrade them to towers. If this structure adapted bombarding enemy at large, bombarding energy at large groups of enemy ground units. Attacks will follow. And this is a basic defensive structure. So I'm assuming one is like anti-ground, anti-air, and the other one's just AoE. Okay, cool. Cool. Peaceful bot, murder bot. Wait, are these uh, are these difficulties? Do I go? I'm gonna go with murder bot. I hope they're not actually gonna murder me. All right, so I already have a plan in mind. I've actually seen one video, and I've seen people play on this map, and I'm about to do it. So what does this cost? It costs 100. How much is base? 350. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go expand over here. I should have expanded my natural, but whatever. I'm going to go expand over here. And then I'm going to expand to the middle. That's why I took this map, because I'm a snake. So we expand right there. Eight energy used. Okay, so if I make this one, I'm gonna need more energy, right? I wonder how the timings work out if the opponent rushes. Like, if the opponent rushes, they just destroy your base? I guess, right? The base is moving real slow, but it will get there. Yeah, if, if they attack, can't you just pick up and fly away? I mean, that is true. Yeah, so here the enemy can't get in here until they chop down trees. That's why I picked this map, because I'm a sneaky snake. So if I go like this... Wait, do I get income now? 
Okay, I do get income. What do I lose if I'm uh, power blocked? We'll build a power bank right here. I'm actually not sure if uh, this like gets lower income or something. Dude, this is the build. This is the build, I'm telling you. I'm on four base already. Well, I'm already low again? Wait, can't I just land and attack the opponent with my main base? Dude, I'm on four base right now. Okay, the AI is not there. Or, I mean, he's there, but he's not... Not there, there. Oh shit, that's a lot of dogs. Oh, I can make the, the building attack. Oh my god, he's got a lot of units. I'm gonna overcharge this building right here. Oh, it's like a channeling. Dude, I'm just... I'm just cranking this AI right now. What the? Enemies beware. I don't know if I, uh... How do I repair my building, though? I don't know if I can. And also, I don't know if I need a... I'm assuming I need a drop-off point, right? Enemies beware. Not enough moonlight. I fight to win. Select a different location. No way, Kale, I'm on. Okay, so we capture that. New arena. On to victory. So basically, I don't, I don't need like a normal base. My base can just be anywhere on the map. Oh, but these guys lose so much damage. I can just, dude, I, I'm getting so much Ethereum from these three workers. So I can use this here, and then I just stay in and I get a shit ton of energy. Okay, I used the thing and I instantly upgraded it to the next tier. I would say this faction is a lot easier to play than the other ones. In my opinion, this this plays more like a like a lot slower version of the other two factions. Like it's it's you don't have to worry about workers. Uh, you know you don't have to like micro everywhere, sort out your workers. It's, it's a lot more chill. 
kind of what I'm getting at least. Okay, so you can do this and boom, then run back. I want to make more of these. Force projector. Oh, I did make one already. The units do build quite a bit. Quite slow. I don't, I don't know if I'm crazy, but. They seem like they're building slower. Okay, so I want to try something. Enemies beware. So if I go like this, can I blink up? Because if I can. Oh no. <laughs> oh, the AI went to chase the other one. You can just blink them one by one. Oh, wait. Wait, I used the blink back on one and they all got removed? Look, if I use one to go back, maybe it expired actually. Wait, what happened there? When I blinked up, I teleported one and then I couldn't teleport back to the other ones. Oh yeah, they, they disappear, okay. Okay, so you can't stay there all day. You have to go back. I think I got enough. Enemies beware. Dude, you can snipe so many things with these blinky bullies. You can snipe so, so, so many things. You can do so many cool, like, things. Like this. You snipe something here, boom, you go back. These units, uh, what are they called? Vectors are definitely going to get used a lot. There's absolutely no way they don't. These bases are OP as hell. Like making them in uh, enclosed spaces. Can they beat Byzantines though? Probably not, let's be realistic. So I discussed this earlier. It's cheaper to make another base than to make a prison. Oh wait, it's not, it's the same. I'm done. Because it takes a hundred to... It's only the first base, then after I guess it's the same, no? 450? Yeah, it's the same after. But would you rather have workers or would you rather just have more bases? I would probably just have more bases. I think it's better. Can you use the... Oh my god, you can use the... The, uh, the thing on your building as well. Like the overcharge. But I don't know if the... What's it called? If the buildings are flying, how do you harass their bases then? Idle time? Yeah, but you can't destroy them, I guess? 